Hi, I'm uh, here. I'm here with Luke. Hello. We're gonna make a Nerf gun for our hackathon idea. It's gonna yeah. be air compressor. It's gonna be very cool. Yeah, I swear. It's gonna be awesome. Yay. Let's get to work. Hey, this is Tom from the future. Um, I did an explanation during the hackathon and recorded it, but it didn't really make a lot of sense. So here's a GIF of pretty much what I'm making. I'm making an air compressor, air pump thing, um, except I'm resin printing everything because, I mean, it's the form lab hackathon. Um, I'm also resin printing a pressure vessel, which is where all the compressed air goes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not very complicated. I'm just going to shove it all inside of a Nerf gun and, and hope for the best. It, um, it'll be cool. Hi, uh, I'm kind of sleepy right now, but I'm gonna explain the CAD for the gun so you guys can get better understanding of how we set everything up. So the idea for the gun, especially the gear system, is that this handle is all one part, so we don't have to worry about transmitting torque. It rotates this gear, which connects to this gear, um, which, also, which connects to this gear and spins this entire part which is connected to the pump and allows the piston to move up and down inside the pump and pressurize this vessel. The check valves are not in the CAD because I said so. Something important is that there's no axle that can actually go through that can actually go through in between here or else this blue part will hit the gears but or hit the axles it was. So this needs to oscillate. So the thing it's rotating on is actually just part of this. To make sure that everything is constrained and doesn't like snap out, this part is a little thicker and it also has a secondary connection point to the rest of the body over here. Um, yeah. So we had to do a lot of things with NPT valves so that things could pressurize and not explode. We pretty much just took a model off the McMaster car and just merged it to all the vessels, the stuff that we needed. So this is our pressure vessel, literally just, um, literally just a cylinder. And yeah, it hasn't exploded so far, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the cat. It's not very complicated, but it works, which is important. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. This is going to be the first test. Well, that, it currently works with an air compressor. This guy for running off a 9 for me, so he's trading. Okay. Alright. Okay. That's our target. That's all foul. Woo! It did something. It did something. Say hi, Luke. Hello. What are we doing? We're making a gun. Yay. So, we took up. Uh, we went over to Morningside Academy of Design and we're printing a bunch more stuff because uh, it's 11 p.m. and Form Labs is closed. So, printing. We can we can get take off the clamp too. Just don't like turn off the clamp. Wait, well, that's perfect actually. One. Clap on this O-ring. And then this one. 
game board technical difficulties that didn't happen. Everything always goes right the first time. Yep, yeah. Let's just keep it, keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Keep assembling. Yep, just keep assembling. What them see? Yay. Uh, um. Yay, it works. I lied. All right, start cranking. So, are you gonna time lapse it in the software? Yeah, I'll do it in the software. That can you Alright. Alright, pretend it didn't break. Is there a bullet in there? That's not happening. So we went with the single pump um, air compressor. So you, it's hand cranked. Originally, it's going to be motorized, but the motor we had doesn't have enough torque, and you have to do like a four stage gear reduction, which would be really large. So it's hand cranked now, which is arguably a little cooler. I don't know, more old school. I don't think they did that back then, but. <laughs> but yeah, um, we pressurized this resin printed little tank. Use a solenoid valve to blast. A wall or North Guard, and um, we're not sure if it'll work, but in theory it should. But also, Luke's been here, he's been pumping, cranking this, and we did the math, and to get to about 100 psi, we needed to crank this thing about 200 times. So, <laughs> it, this might look a little feeble if we try to run it. If you want to start. Um, so we know the air compressor solenoid valve works when we use the, uh, the normal air compressor down there. We don't know what's pressurized right now because we didn't check. And we hope it won't explode. Yeah. We, we hope it'll work. Or should I shoot it at? I'll shoot it at the table. Yay! Yeah. 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 